Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 46 reaction. All right, the previous episode. Um uh, first of all the whole match was stopped in the mid middle because you know like uh, both Yo Ren they were fighting for their own ideals, their own methods and you know it was like a very uh even match. Both of them were kind of losing and winning at the same time and in the end Liza comes in and just stops everyone he's like no need to fight because uh some changes has have happened uh you guys both of your team can go ahead because a few of them are kind of going out of the match will not be participating so everything kind of works out pretty well there'll be like you know three teams by the end of it i think yeah mm, like ren's team yo's team um x1 no, four teams, sorry. X1, the team X1, which will consist of uh, Lysark and some other people. And uh, probably Jun and uh, some and Marco, I think. Yeah, Marco. And uh, the final team, which is House team. So these four will be like the final participants or something like that. So that's why no need to fight anymore. And yeah, and then we go back again and they were like, you know, like... Uh, <coughs> talking in, in like in the bath they were talking about like some like all that stuff and everything how joins in <laughs> and it was a hilarious scene where we kind of see where Lysa kind of gets mad then he explains that he has like you know changed his method a little bit he is like you know he has not completely gotten rid of the hatred he's just going to control it and use it against the in the final match now he's fine with how taking a bath with them <laughs> and uh, yeah and all that stuff like you know then <clears throat> also another thing com comes up which was the whole thing with manta's dad how they're coming and how they're like you know trying to get to their hands to the greater spirit how says that yo this is your problem you're like you know, you're the reason why this is happening because manta is a person who is not involved in this world and you brought him in yeah so you need to like you know help us out in getting rid of these people as well and by the end they kind of came to a compromise how will not like you know will try to not kill as many of them so that you know like later on they can be brought back to life and in the end they try to attack how but this is how we are talking about you know how's like yeah like i'm the future king <laughs> nothing you can do about it so let's see what this episode brings probably both of them like you know they have teamed up so they're going to fight against manta's dad i guess I'm pretty sure the fight will be very short because I doubt these people will be able to fight against Hao and Yo and all the others. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get started. This is episode number 46 of Shaman King. So, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh boy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow. Impossible. Oh, really? Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Chocolate's face. Yeah. Yeah, but you need the greater spirits. The great sp the spirits, you know? Yeah. Nah, I think he will keep his promise. Like he's he's genuine in that department. Yeah. Thousand years. Yep. Okay, so uh the thing that um you know like they're saying that maybe he won't keep his promise 
I don't think that that's something that he'll do because you know one thing that I I've realized up until now watching uh, how like he since he's able to see in other people's hearts and see what other people are thinking he knows the ugliness of humans and how they betray people don't keep their words and lie just at the drop of a hat so I don't think how himself will like you know res result like you know like do that himself so he himself won't do something like that which he saw in humans the ugliness in humans he himself would never do it so i think he probably will keep his promise he's just having a little bit fun now so <laughs> in the end of it i'm sure the death will be kept to a minimum just like he promised to you so anyways let's see Like they were saying like how they are not a match for how even with the five of them but they still don't have the spirits you know the spirit of earth the spirit of fire all of them <laughs> He'll be like oh well why didn't, didn't you tell us that before Oh Yep. Okay. That's true. Something big coming. Okay. I feel like Oyamada has something. Yeah, like something up his sleeves. Oh, this guy, yeah. Oh. Who the hell? Three seconds, okay. That's the main weakness he has. Well, obviously it's very strong. Okay, that's their plan, okay. Oh wow, so he's that type of a person. Okay, how? Let's see. So he's like a one trick pony. Th three seconds worth of. If this. <laughs> if this fails, he's, it's over. It's over for him. His face is going to drop very. Oh my god. Burst of strength. He's just telling him his... <laughs> mm. Well... Yep, I think it's over. It's over. Obviously. Like, what else did you expect? How long? What? I don't think that's how... Okay. Oh, that's why. Wow, okay. That's very wrong. Reversal. Oh, yeah, okay. 
<laughs> yeah. Resurrections, all right. Bring them all to life now. Hmm. Well, you need to bring them back to life. That's nine hundred years. Mm. Damn. <laughs> oh yeah the button <laughs> okay As a shaman, okay. Following their own path. This is how eavesdropping? Yep. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wait, where's Manta's dad then? Oh, did it? Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, damn. Okay, well, he's like, yep, I'm screwed. <laughs> Why did I even <laughs> Yeah. Patch Marine. Oh wow, I'm guessing they probably skipped a lot of things after that. It kind of feels like that. Okay, this is kind of abrupt. I feel like they skipped some parts. Oh, there they are. So they did not show us how they came here. They just cut that part, I'm guessing. What? Yeah, that's true. All right. Okay, so he wins. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're conserving the energy to to, to okay. Exactly. All right. Okay, this is a very good method to yeah fight him, I guess. Hmm. It's no so Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, I doubt they have. Who the? Who are these people? Spirit priestess. Yep, there you go. He's the shaman king now. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oof. Yeah, they're going to protect Hal from okay, my god. Yeah, you'll have to we'll have to fight you first. And uh Oh, but it's also sorry. Yes. All right. Raven. Oh, this guy. Wow, he had a very short like. <laughs> No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's true. He would just. <laughs> he was true oh so it's basically saying whoever wins is the justice Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, he's like, yep, this is justice, this overwhelming power. Okay. Hmm. Vanquish. Good brandish is the dead soul. Ah. He who images, yeah, that's what I was saying. He who wins is the justice. Oh, what is happening? Hmm. What? 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 What's happening?
What? What? Okay, he's... Whoa! What? What? Oh, okay. Oh, that thing. Well, um, you, got, you gotta do what you gotta do. The answers. I was then turned up. He took him in? Yeah. Oh. All right, that's Don't do food. Ah! Well, you wants to do that because he wants to save him. Ah. Oh, whoa, what? Wait, what happened? Wait, who shot who? Wait, he shot both of them? Alright, I'll be honest here. I feel like they probably cut a lot of things out of here. It, it feels really weird. Like, so many things happen in so less amount that I wasn't even able to gather my emotions like they're dead i didn't even realize that oh he has his glasses <laughs> oh great the patch yeah Silva is here. Yep. Oh boy, this will be a bad fight. Ah. Damn. Oh my god. He needs to conserve his energy, I guess. But I don't know. I feel like you need to go out for this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh. Well, yeah, like, yeah, you're always the one who's. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll be completely honest here. I feel like they they really. Um. Now this is like you know I don't know. I I think they probably skipped a lot of things, especially the fight with um Luckist and Marco. It was like, uh, like a minute. The, the not even a minute. It was like a thirty second battle, where like where the battle started. They had the battle. Marco, like you know, got Luckist, gave him a little pep talk, and then they all of them died as well. All, all like within the span of like a one minute or two minute. And I'm like, what is even happening? I wasn't even able to gather my emotions. To, I didn't even realize he died. Both of them died. Like I, I saw them shoot each other. I'm like, what's happening? Who killed who? And then I see both of them in spirit form and they just left. Like, you know, they died. And then I realized they actually died. I'm like, what? Like, they, you know, like, <laughs> like w these characters, we've been spending a lot of time with these characters. So, like, you know, I would definitely be feeling sad if they died, but I wasn't even able to properly register what happened for the emotions to come in. I'm, 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 I'm baffled. Like, I feel like, like all these other episodes, they skipped a lot of things and I was like, all right, they skipped stuff. It's okay, I guess, like nothing you can do about it. It's lesser budget, lesser, uh, you know, time. So that's the end. They're probably skipping it. I'm like, all right, it's fine. But this episode, I feel like they could have done it a little bit better. Like, I've not read the manga, but I, f I, f I feel like they, they, they skipped a lot of things here. And it, it was plain bad. This was plain bad. The whole Marco versus Luckist was just atrocious, I feel like. Now, as I said, um, I'm pretty sure the manga probably showed a lot more than this. And uh, I don't know how much they skipped, but I'm pretty sure they skipped a lot of things. So... I don't know. I feel a lot conflicted about this episode. Like I was appreciating, like in previous episode, I was appreciating how they were, like you know, actually probably not skipping stuff because everything felt a lot, you know, more um proper because there were not any weird cuts and everything was kind of going in a very normal pace. And I'm like, okay, maybe they kind of skipped stuff in that previous few episodes, and now they're again trying to like you know patch everything up by just. Um, like you know adapting it properly but then again I feel like this episode skipped a lot of things for example the whole uh, moving to the Moo continent was that not in the manga at all or did they skip stuff here as well because they just they just teleported there I feel like like at one moment they, they finished the battle in the whole Manta situation and then the next scene we see we're in Moo continent I'm like what I was thinking they were going to see how they were going to go there like you know the patch of decisions would come they would be like all right let's go now and you know like how and everyone will just you know like join them and they will go it will be like a five minute trip or something you know not much the trip it, it, it doesn't need to be like a one episode trip a five minute trip i thought it was going to be you know and then they were, we were going to see that part and then we we're going to come to the moon continent and it feels like they just cut that portion out. Now, I don't know, like, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if the manga, if the manga is also like this or the manga had stuff, but I feel like they cut few stuff out there as well. So, um, I feel like this episode is probably the worst one up till date, not because of like, you know, like the story, but because of the adaptation, the adaptation, I think probably messed up a lot of things in this episode. I just feel it because look look at it like so many things happen first of all the whole fight with um Martha's not dad but you know the whole thing you know like them shooting trying to shoot how how defeating them just in one one snap and that happened they go to the moon continent that happened uh you know like they they forfeit the match they're like nope we're not fighting how you're the shaman king how goes in um uh, luckiest stops them luckiest versus marco happens marco somehow like you know is able to defeat a uh, luckiest he shoots both of them both of them dies and um um opacho does not fight after that because obviously she she was sad and i feel like she also realized like you know like like after marco's marco talking with them and 
thing how love is the ultimate justice i think um, opacha probably got influenced or something that's why she did not stop them and she's like yeah i want to go to how and after that um silva comes in and even the silva fight also starts in this episode like just like like three fights happen in this one episode three fights like how 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 can you cram so much things in one episode how is that even possible i don't i don't know i feel like i i'm a little bit angry at this episode i feel like because i feel like they skipped a lot of things and they could have done it a lot more better especially the whole um 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 uh, luckist and marco one like like they they just speed like you know they speed ran through it it feels like it was like a, like a three or four minute scene where where so many things happened like they fought each other marco stopped him marco talks talks about how love is the ultimate form of justice he shoots both of them both of them dies and yeah they go to the greater spirit so many things in a matter of 3 minutes i think i don't know ah uh, anyways <laughs> let me know your guys's opinion because i'm saying these all on like you know because i don't even have read the manga who knows maybe the manga also kind of did it like this so i'm not so sure i think they cut stuff so it is just best on my guess so if the manga is also kind of like this then i don't have anything else to say like you know because if the main source material was like this then i would be like all right fine they adapted it perfectly but i don't think the manga is like this i think the manga probably went more into depth with these whole things and in the anime they just skipped over all of that just like that in one episode they probably crammed like 10 chapters or something or like 12 chapters something like that i think that's what they did i think so let me know if i'm right or wrong anyways um this episode uh first we start with the whole uh manta's dad situation oh boy um the hat fight was underwhelming i feel like because they were able to do nothing they were just sitting there manta's dad was kind of acting a little bit cool he's like oh he is a terrorist he's nothing more than that you know like just spewing out cool lines that's just one line that he said and then we don't even see him <laughs> you know how it defeats everyone and he and he probably ran away or something happened i'm like what I thought they were going to capture Manta's dad and like you know like bring him in or something or maybe they're going to kill him or something and then resurrect him back or something like that was going to happen I thought but nah nothing like what what was that even about like they just came for a few seconds tried to defeat how and all just got defeated themselves and then like surprise Pikachu face they're like huh this isn't supposed to happen how did, how did this happen like okay <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> that fight, like you know when when how was like you know defeating all the different uh, ships, like just blowing it up one by one. Mm, it's kind of interesting to see how all the different characters, like you know, the um, uh, lights are crew, all of them were just chocolate looking at them like just mouth open, wide open. And Chocolove is like, what the hell? Like, this is how's power. Like, we we five of them combined wouldn't be able to defeat him. Like, what are we going to do with this guy? You know, it's impossible to defeat him. Like, they were just thinking in that like you know uh, way. The thought process was that. While the only exception was uh, Yo, who 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 was watching him and he who said that this is a very sad power. And this really shows how I guess like you know the difference in both of how both of the not both but the two like you know Yo and all the other group uh, of his friends look at how like how Yo looks at him as like a person who needed saving but was never able to get that, and circumstances made him this monster he is today. And while like you know like no one else i think looks at him in that way where all his friends are like oh look at this monster while yo is like how sad it is to become a monster like this after like you know a hundred years of just pain like how sad it is and that's that's the difference here and that's why we can obviously realize you know even in the previous episode when how, like you know yo said something about 
helping how and you know saving him ren got mad ren got pissed off ren was like yo you are like you know you're living in a fantasy world you're you're not realizing what you're saying you know this is just a uh, an uh, what do you call it like a naivety that you're talking with and it wouldn't work like that while yo is like no you know, like he just needed to be saved and he never got that so that that was interesting i just noticed that you know how there difference in opinions <clears throat> okay anyways how was just defeating one by one everyone <laughs> and he and this guy what, what's his name um lee 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 wait a minute lee lee hite i think that's his name yeah so what's that the name just a sec um lai haite okay lai haite is already taking steps to protect mansumi okay so okay so this guy he's like all right i'm going to use my like you know power and my power is so strong that it's even greater than the spirit of fire so i'm going to just one shot him it's it's very underwhelming because like you know it only acts for three seconds but that will be enough to defeat how and i think that was his main reason for trying to challenge how because he thought that that would work and he was like yeah these three seconds are enough to defeat how and i'm going to do that that's why he was so confident up until now so Okay, well, there's this another random lady like who calls herself a witch, and she's like, uh, she was also there. I don't know where she popped up from. Probably one of them. Yeah, they're people. And Lee Lai Haite, I think that's his, how his name is pronounced. He shot how, and I think Azazil was the name of the um, you know, like his angel, and came and attacked how. And how just used Foxfire? I think that's was what what's he what it called he called him. And kind of in a flashback, we get to see what uh, the Foxfire actually is. Where how explains that a burst of flames from two candles behind my back. That's my Foxfire. Not even your Na Avidya can defeat uh, deflect something beyond your capacity. Okay, so that's what it is. And I find it funny, like he's just <laughs> he's just telling you all his secrets. He's like, oh, like my power, this this works like this. This works like this and everything. Because he's he's confident that yeah, like even if he knows what it, it does, he won't be able to defeat me. No one will be able to defeat me. I'm so strong. And true, it's true, you know, like that's why we had to give away the Shaman King title to him. Because we know we won't be able to defeat him at this point. <laughs> okay. So yeah like <laughs> like lai hai that tries to like you know defeat him and he, <laughs> he he dies instead you know the whole thing is reversed like the whole fox fire thing happens and we kind of get to see lai hai is reason for doing this he said something about how jun like you know he thought that jun would be the one person who would defeat how but since he like you know now he's seeing that it's not that easy you know like we she's like you know kind of changed her methods He's like, oh, like, you know, like, um, I'm not, like, you know, helping her out anymore. So that's why he, I guess, he, he decided to, to help out Manta's dad because his, uh, you know, goals were a lot more aligned to Lai Haite's goals. Okay. Um, okay. Let me know one thing. I, 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 I'm not able to properly understand this. Is Lai Haite the, the, the butler? Like, you know, the, uh, uh, Manta's dad's butler. Is that guy and Lai Haite the same person? Because I'm, I'm not, I, I cannot remember. Because, let me know, please. Like, I, I cannot remember at all how, how the butler looked like. It kind of looked like him, I guess. I don't know. So are they the same person? Or the butler is some other person? Some other character? Or, wait a minute. Oh, I think they can Okay, anyways, um... All right, so Lai Haite dies, and this witch suddenly, like you know, this uh, this lady who calls herself a witch, 
so it's like oh my like you know attack is going to like you know insta kill you because you know it's like a different type of a power it's like a voodoo power and wait so she got house hair from the uh like from the bath i think no the guy with the glasses gave me some hair from the hot springs i put it inside this fg guy with the glass who guy with the glass who is this guy with the glasses is he talking about the butler oh so i think lie height and the butler are the different are different people aren't they yeah 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 okay i think that's that's probably it like i'm i was getting a little bit confused i was like wait a minute we saw the butler and this guy they kind of look the same so are they the same person no no they're, they're, they're different i'm guessing the guy with the glasses he he's meaning and the butler i'm kind of getting confused here because yeah anyways the the main thing here is she got the hair house hairs from the uh, bath from the onsen like the thing and she's like yeah i'm going to defeat him puts the <laughs> nail and dies herself she's like oh cursed is reversal and dies and that's it everything's just over and how is like okay let me just save my fuyoku for the resurrections and he's like all right like, you guys handle it and just goes away <laughs> and uh, yeah here yo says like you know like he trained for 900 years but he probably suffered more in the 100 years that he lived in this world and yeah it just goes now okay yeah this this proves it the butler is a different person anna says no not anna uh, that, that guy i forgot his name the the, the one with the long nose the butler is shrewd. How can we hang out here like this? I mean, it's. Okay, um, I'm not. Okay, so yeah, here Anna talks about how, like, you know, he she thought about training Yo first, but then she decided that now nah, I'm not going to do that because they're kind of following a different path and how is also there and okay here the amura zaki okay all right yeah they're different people lai haite is a different person and the butler is a different person he's tamura zaki i remember now okay um that's the butler okay he says that he forget about tamura zaki he has left the island he fled when he sensed that oyamada was in danger wait a minute so he fled by himself or did he take Oyamada with him? I think he probably took Oyamada's dad with him. So they just ran away. That's it. The dad was like, Manta's dad was like, oh, they're just terrorists. I'm like, just sitting in the... <laughs> and then he, and then he runs away. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um... <laughs> How it's like, you're right, Anna, like, they're okay. You know, they'll be able to work it out for themselves. No need to worry about them. I'm talking about Yo and his group. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. Okay, uh, here he says, there's no reason to enter the second tournament with more bad blood than is necessary. So this is new. It wasn't the angel that stopped you from destroying that ship. Okay, this part, I, I wasn't able to understand, properly understand what they were saying here. Just a sec. Let me read this part again. Anna says, it wasn't the angel that stopped you from destroying that ship. You're very discerning. Both Oyamada's father and son were there. Wait. Manta was somewhere else. Why is he saying that both of them were... Oh, I think... Oh, both at the scene. Both of them were at the same scene. Okay, okay, that's what he is saying. All right. Okay, he says it's like the time. This part I don't understand. He said it's the same thing with Lyserk. Killing someone's parents even gives me pause. A weakness. You'll find out. Oh, so wait a minute. So he's basically saying that he doesn't feel comfortable 
killing like you know a parent and their child at the same place that's what he's saying that's the reason why he did not destroy the ship where Manta's dad was because Manta was also present in that scene that's why he did not destroy the ship because his dad would have died over there and Manta would be present there like you know seeing that witnessing that and that's when like you know he says like the same thing happened with Lyserk as well like killing someone's parent in front of the child gives even gives me a little bit of an uncomfortable like you know feeling and Anna says, oh, is that a weakness? And he's like, ah, you'll find out. Something like that. I think that's what's happened. That's what he's trying to say here. I was kind of confused. I was like, what's happening here? What's he talking about? And now, okay, now that I'm reading this part again, I can understand. It's probably that, what he meant by that line. <clears throat> All right, so, okay, the next, that's where it ends. And here, you know, we suddenly get transported to the Mu Island. Uh, Moo continent we kind of see a little thing uh, like a little submarine thing I think what is that yeah like it's like a certain game like you know the, the, the patch officiants like an you know, official thing transport vehicle or whatever and that's how we are underwater like they show how we came here but then nothing else I, I feel like they cut some stuff out here or something let me know if they did because it felt kind of weird you know, suddenly they're here after that scene. But anyways, we are here in the Mu continent. And now here an interesting thing happens. I I did not think it would go this way, I guess. Um I thought they were going to fight him. And even after fighting him, if they are unable to win, then they are going to like you know attack how when he is fusing with the greater spirit that's when he will be the most vulnerable i thought i thought it was going to go that way but i feel like this was a better um plan what they did here they're like we are forfeiting because they would need to conserve their furyoku if they start fighting here you know it won't even matter because they know that how is going to annihilate them all so either way they're going to lose so they're like you know what like let's let's not just fight and uh, like you know just use up all our stamina and furyoku Let's just give up so that at least, you know, we can conserve our energy and we need that energy to fight the patch efficients who will be like, you know, protecting how and also Luckist and um, Opacho is also here. So that's what we need to do. And I feel like this was the best plan, like they, them giving up. And uh, yeah, they explained that to them. And uh, Goldva is like, I, "Do you all of you agree to this?" And everyone's like, "Yep, we agree." And then they do start talking about who, after defeating how, like you know, who would become the shaman king. So they're like, "Shouldn't we have fought before?" And Yo is like, "No need to do that because uh, like who will be the, the person who will be the last one standing is going to become the shaman king." I I hope it is me. You know, because I'm the one who, uh, like, you know, that I'm the one who keeps standing up until the end. But we'll see at that point. And, and yeah, how becomes the Shaman King? He's on his way. Uh, he goes, like, you know, deep into the, the, the place to start fusing with the greater spirit. And uh, a few patch of Shams also goes with him. A few of them are going to, like, you know, protect him and yeah that's it now luckist comes out luckist is like yep so we, we have to fight now you know because obviously he knows that they're going to try to uh, attack how when he's in that vulnerable state now <clears throat> here uh Lysef says like let's let us help as well but yo is like no they need to do this on their own because i very much know what's going to happen either of them won't give up until they either dies you know marco won't give up uh Lucas won't give up so either one of them is going to die here so like yeah we need to let them do that here because the, otherwise it, it it like you know like they, they're not going to budge and okay so here like they start fighting and um Luckist gives us an interesting uh, little conversation where he talks about what is justice. Now, 
it's like okay i one day like one time i was also the type of person who lived for justice and day uh, until one day uh, when everything changed when i learned how truly wrong i was and then we see him going to fight you know trying to fight how and seeing how strong he is uh, just after I founded the X laws, I thought I'd been given the opportunity of a lifetime. I didn't stand any chance, of course, yeah, but for some reason he spared my life. There you go. The whole thing with how happened here, yeah, the fight. Okay, so where is it? Because he too sought justice, even if it wasn't the justice I knew. I met many disciples, each who fought for justice on their own. So here it is. So he basically says like justice is subjective, just like how wrong and right is subjective. Justice is subjective. And he at that moment, he realized how wrong is his version of justice. You know, his version of justice is something from his perspective. Some other person might say that that's wrong, but that's his own like, you know, version of justice. And everyone is like, you know, what, what do you say like you know kind of trying to um live their life according to their own code their version of justice so like and then he says each of whom had been banded by society they're being like you know they're like house disciples a world the world beat them into submission with a cruelty it dared called justice put another way they were the vanquished so yeah it's like the the world the common people they they just like you know like just kicked them down and decided to like you know just outcast them and call that their like you know their own justice so all the people who were vanquished you know their their form of justice were all just demolished because the society thinks that that's not justice like you know like like that okay so wait a minute so, so basically what he's saying here is like whoever wins is the justice and whoever loses their justice gets trampled upon and he did not like that i think that's what he tries to say doesn't he okay um marco says every man can choose to walk the path of righteousness there is no justice in allowing defeat to make you lose your way exactly marco so long as there are those who would brandish justice as a sword there are others who would who they would like there are others they would cast out okay and when those who are outcast give in to darkness within their hearts they are true evil given shape okay um Justice always does not prevail. He who emerges victorious decides what is just. And Marco's like, justice never changes and it's not a relic of a bygone age. Okay, so interesting. Like, I feel like both of them are right in their own way. Like, that's the interesting part of this whole conversation. Like, Luckis tries to say that, yeah, like the people, like, you know, who are beaten down, just, you know, like, just thrown out outcasted by the society they like you know they become evil and that's when what evil is up until that point everyone has their own justice so when someone uses justice as a sword and casts them aside you know and uh, that's like you know that's when they start like you know falling into evil before that that's not evil now something like that i guess he's trying to say and he, he's saying that um like you know using justice as a sword like you know like you know that that's going to like you know continue and that would mean that justice will always be the thing which victors uh which victors choose what justice is victors will always choose what justice actually is and the one who will lose will never like you know will, will never be the be the justice and they would always be outcasted by society and fall into evil I'm, I'm guessing that's what he's trying to say here and yeah i agree i agree in a lot of points but at the same time the thing that marco says here as well is true he's like 
that's not justice like justice has like you know it's like a, what does he say he says it here justice never changes and it's no relic of a bygone age this part like, he's like that's not justice justice is something that's a lot different from that it's it's not something like that like that the thing that victor chooses that's not justice justice is something a lot more broader and a lot more different and he says what justice here is like where is it okay marco says where is it okay um all right so he kind of pauses here you know like when he says after he says that yeah justice is something different and then here we see he he uses the the the, the different the the other uh in the one of these other episodes he saw that attack that he he was like you know the attack that they used to defeat him that attack he made a doppelganger of himself and tricked him and got him like you know within like you know bullets range and he's like uh it's called oversoul false marco um i knew i didn't stand a chance from the beginning so i imitated asakura yo strategy there you go okay now here it is he he continues from here again you're right i once believed justice marco saying this was a sword to brandish against the unjust so yeah he's admitting that yeah i was the same person that you're talking about up until now i used justice as a sword but that day maiden sama showed me love and mercy i was awakened to true love and i finally had all the answers and that answer is the unconditional love you're okay this part is i think like the translation is completely different like you know wrong he says that the unconditional love your mother passed down to you your mother is not like like no not your mother this would be a little bit different i think he's saying that a mother's love not your mother you know a mother's love that's uncon that unconditional love he, he's referring to that not your mother like he's not talking about lakista's mother I, I kind of got confused at this moment while reading the subtitles i was like lakista's mother like who and then I realized, okay, he, that's a translation error. I think so, because he's talking about a mother's love, a mother's unconditional love, not Lakista's mother. Okay, I lost my mother and turned up at a little hilltop abbey. When it seemed my sorrow is isolation were on the brink of breaking me, you came to my room with a pas plate of pasta la mama. I'll never forget how it tasted. It was a promise of more pasta a la mama that got me through those dark days it's a joy when a woman learns when he's loved but when he loses that when it's ripped away it's hell on earth yeah so he's saying like yeah like the love the unconditional love that's justice and yeah i i also agree with that i trust them with my future they're the ones who will doubt no not this skipped apart Okay, a man's only truly evil when he's turned his back on love. True justice is love. I trust them with my future. They are the ones who will douse your foolish murderous evil with love. Go now, young ones. Go and hit how with all the love you've got. There you go. So that's what he's saying. So he's basically saying like justice is not something that should be brandished as a sword and used to like you know defeat like you know, not defeat but you know like outcast people if they do not follow your version of justice that's not true justice you're just bullying others at that point i guess if you think of it like that way you know if you think of it more in a more uh like you know a simpler term you're just beating people up and telling them to do things your way that's not justice he's saying that that's not justice the justice is that unconditional love that's that's the only justice and when a person actually turns their back to that justice or to that unconditional love that's when they like you know turn into evil or something like that he's trying to say and yeah again i agree i agree with all the statements here i guess in a way like all of them are right in their own way and marco's explanation marco the thing that marco came into a conclusion i feel like that's a lot more better and that's something that we should strive for 
and like the thing here is luckist kind of gave up i guess just like how gave up on humanity but like you know uh marco here he's just like yo where he is not giving up on them and he's like yeah like love is the ultimate form of justice and we should follow that route so that's basically it like you know marco is basically following yo's like you know uh, what do you call it the way the path yo is walking marco is following that Marco has realized that after like, you know, John kind of like, you know, forgave him, he realized that. So he's walking that path. He's walking your spot while Luckist has been following house path up until this time where he just gave up on humanity. He's like, nah, like, you know, like they're always going to use justice as a short sword and that's wrong. So that's basically, that's like the summary of this whole like scene. And this part was really, uh, like, you know, really good. But I feel like that the whole fight scene was very badly done. They, I feel like they skipped a lot of parts, maybe. You know, the explanation part was properly done, I guess. But after that, you know, they, they like, you know, they... Oh, uh, Marco even apologizes to Lyserk. And I don't know what the hell happened here at the beginning. Um, I guess he shot both of them. Is that what happened? Because I can still see um, Luckish, like, you know, holding his gun while Marco has thrown his, like, the gun has fallen from Marco's hand. And there's like a blood flowing through Marco's chest. No, Luckish's chest and Marco's head. And Marco's head is in the same uh, level as Luckish's chest because Luckish is a bit taller. So I guess he shot Luckish's um, chest. The bullet penetrated it went through and went through his own head as well so basically he killed both of them at the same time is that what happened i think so because this part again confused me i'm like what happened here so he killed both of them at the same time and yeah as like you know yo is not happy yo is like if you know the answer then why do you have to see everything in black and white yeah exactly perhaps it's because we never learned moderation <laughs> Yeah, that's that's I I feel like that's that's true. No? Yeah, no more like you know they, they they cannot see they they either see it in the, the either extreme either it's completely white or it's completely dark they they see it in that way there's no gray area for them and yeah that's that's like this is the problem with a lot of things you know not only in this show but a lot of like you know normal IRL things as well like people try to see something. In the extremes, they either say this is good, they either say it's bad. There is no moderation in anything. I've seen this, like, you know, not only here, in a lot of other animes as well. Like, in maybe in the comment section, there's like a group of people who's like, oh, this is worst. And there's a group of people who's like, oh, this is amazing. Like, what the hell? Like, moderation, guys. There's a, there's a gray area. It's, it, everything's not completely white or not completely black. There, there's a moderation. There's, there's, a, there's a middle area every, every time. Not only in that, in a lot of other things as well, like people jump so quickly to conclusions and just label something with one extreme, you know, with either extreme, either it's amazing or it's just worse, that it sometimes baffles me. I'm like, what the hell? Like, there, there, there can always be something which is good and bad as well. So try to see everything in that way as well. Like, the, the earth is not as simple as everything's either good or everything's either bad. There's a lot of gray areas in, in a lot of things. So that's what Yo is trying to say here, I guess. Okay, had we been what did it say? Had we been so lucky as to bath Vitu, bathe Vitu, perhaps then we would have known some fires can burn a bit too hot. <laughs> okay, and then they go to the dark, like you know, greater spirit, and uh, yeah, and I feel like they they probably skipped a lot of things in this part, as I said. Like this this part was an emotional part but things happened so quickly and they just like you know just, just like you know they, they died and then in the next scene we see them fighting with silva i'm like wait a minute let us just you know like let us just calm down a little bit like the, the scenes are happening so quickly that we aren't able to actually feel anything like like the emotions coming and then suddenly something else starts and i'm like what the hell it like just yeah, that, I think that's, that was this, the, the part that I really did not like about this episode. They just rushed through a lot of things, I feel like. And yeah, like that scene ends, they go on their own way and then we see like just Silver waiting and Silver's like, oh, let's fight. 
and then they start fighting and uh, horror, horror everyone's going down and yo is like let me handle this you know like i've always wanted to fight you silva and silva yeah silva versus yo is going to happen the next episode i'm guessing so yeah that was this episode this was episode um 46 of shaman king so as i said this is my opinion but i feel like they could have done the whole marco scene a lot better they rushed that part so badly i feel like a lot of people weren't even able to feel what they were supposed to feel they were supposed to feel sad in that scene and i feel like they, they rushed through it so quickly and started the silver fight so quickly after that that people weren't even able to gather their emotions for that scene like everything just happened in the blink of an eye and i'm like what even happened so yeah anyways that's just my opinion i don't know what they did in the manga but i feel like the anime could have been a lot better they could have done that scene at least a little bit better because that was one of the i'm guessing the the more the highlight of this part you know the marco versus luck is but they rushed through that part i don't know anyways that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 46 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that was it thanks for watching and i will see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king until then goodbye and have a nice day